Have you ever wondered if you can make a program with Godot? Well, actually you can, it's very very easy. Everything you see here in the editor is actually built with nodes that you can actually use for creating a program with Godot. So let's just start and I have here an empty project and we're gonna create a user interface node for the start. Everything that it's green, it's basically user interface elements such as this nav bar, the tabs, the everything that is not a, a game or a 3D thing. So let's start with a control node and we have our basic scene here. What we're gonna do on this first video is a very simple text editor that you can open and save files just to edit some text. It's gonna cover the basics for it. So what we first want to add is a text edit node. This node is basically like a code editor like dialog. You will see it here. It's gonna place it, I don't know, like let's cover half of the screen with it and let's just try this. It's gonna ask us to save, we can say main, which is the main scene. And as you can see here, we have a simple text editor. So this is working like as you expect it to work. It doesn't have anything fancy, but you can, you know, cut, paste, or the basic commands. Um, okay, so let's try to make this open external files. To do that, we're gonna need a button so we can start with that process. Let's see here on the control nodes. Let's search for base button, just a regular button. Yeah, nothing weird. We're gonna place it here and the properties of that button here, the text, let's say uh, open file. Okay, so we have our open file and let's add a, I'm gonna clone this one with control D, you duplicate the node and let's prepare for the save file. Okay, let's capitalize F, okay. So we have the buttons here, but of course they will not do anything. So we have to code that logic. For the open file, what we want to get is a file dialog, so we can select the file from our computer. To do that, you have to create first a pop-up, which is window dialog, confirm that here. It's very hidden, it's in the depths of this pop-up menu. Um, and the file dialog one is the one that you want for selecting as it describes it here. So one thing that you will notice at first is that you don't see them by default and all the pop-ups are invisible, even if you make them visible here, like they're not gonna be visible on on the game itself when you launch it on the program and you get the warning here because you have to use the pop-up function to display it okay so this is irrelevant to it okay that's gonna make this bigger so yeah here in the center this is the title modes here you have like the different modes for this we want to open file with this and access file system because you want it to be able to select anything other than the anything on the system and as you can see i'm already like here's my files and things like that and this should be good for now we can change the title to open file okay it's gonna save it, save the scene, and yeah, you can. We can try it if you want, but still, we can see the buttons. They do anything, but you don't see the pop up. So let's start with the code now. Okay, sorry. Let's start with the code with this button. Let's gonna rename it to open file and save file. We can either place the logic of the entire program in the root or you can do it in 
small chunks here. Prefer to do it here on the root because it's a fairly simple program and I don't want it to be very complicated. So just create the script. We're gonna call it main.gd or better maybe app. This is gonna be our application. And now we can start uh, extending and creating the program. Let's remove everything. We don't really need this. But I'm gonna keep the pass function. Okay. So you can make it everything with code, but I'm gonna go over the editor stuff first. For instance, here, let's use this node six uh, signal pressed. So when the button is pressed, I want to call a function. And here we have it on the control node, which is on open file pressed, and we do something. What do we want to do? Well, we want to make the file dialog pop up, which is the function that you want to call when you want to show it. If I say, if I try this project now, like if I press here, I can open a file, and I already can select files and open them. Thing is, there's nothing when I use this because we still haven't get the signals from the file and the same can be done with the save file dialog here we have this file dialog let's gonna we're gonna duplicate this one and it's gonna be save file dialog it's gonna swap the things that we want here instead of open file we want to use the save file and the title is going to be save a file. Okay, so we have it here as well. And let's gonna do the same with this button. Button press, we connect the signal to the main one and we call the pop-up function for that window dialog thing. Okay, now, what we want to do is that when we open the file, we want to get all that text string here on this uh, text edit node. So how do you do that? Well, if you go to the file dialog on the node, you have the file selected, file selected or di direct directory like selection. We want the file one because we are getting only text files and we're going to connect it to control. So here this will trigger when you select that. To confirm it, you can, for instance, print the path and you will see that once we select a file to open, like for instance, this app.gd, we get here the full path of the file that we open. So we're going to need to search for the file class and get more information on this. This, this uh, class is for doing everything related to file opening, uh, saving, reading, whatever you need to do. So as you can see here, there's a function which is open. And this open function, which let's go to it open. It needs two arguments. One is the path of the file that you want to open and another one is the flags. When they say here flags, you have to search on the documentation of the same class. What do those flags do? In this case, these are the mode flags, which are read one, write two, read write three, and write read seven. Okay, so let's create a new class let's call it f for the file you can create that class like so and now we're gonna open the file that we want to start doing things with which will be file open and now we use the path that we already have and we just want to read it so we will go ahead and use the number one for the flag then 
when we have everything open, we want to get the text from that dialog, from that uh, file to the text edit node. So for the text edit node, the variable text we're gonna set it to, and now you can use an inbuilt function which is f dot get as text. This will read the file that we already opened and it's gonna read it as a test string and we're gonna set the value of the text edit to that string. Let's try it out, let's see if it works. We open a file and we select for instance this same script that we are editing right now and we have it here. It should be the same, the same as we are opening. We, if we want to open another thing like the project that got out, you know, you can already see how this is working. So now let's go ahead and do the save file um, function. We're gonna be using it as save as, uh, just for safety reasons, but yeah, let's go for it. Let's rename it to save as. The difference between save and save as is basically that if you use the save as, um, you will set the name every time you save it. But if you do save, we, we can overwrite the file and that can be a problem for this test. But you can do it as you wish. Um, it's going to be the same here on the save file dialog when we get the file selected. Let's connect this signal. And now here we have to code the logic for saving that information into a file, which is going to be pretty similar. So we get a new file and we're going to open it with the same path. And instead of doing the reading uh, flag, we use the writing flag. This will give us permission to write things into that file. Uh, this is for security reasons most of the time. If sometimes you want to just read something, you know, it's better to use the proper flags. Otherwise, you can use the read and write flag, which will allow you to do both, but it can be tricky sometimes. And now, it's basically instead of getting the text onto, onto the text edit node, getting the text from the node to the file. So how you, do you do that? Basically, you get the uh, inbuilt function, which is called store. You see here a lot of different ways of storing, but we want to use a store string, which will be basically be saving that information. And we get the information that we want to save, which is the text from the text edit. Okay, this should be enough, so let's make the test. Now, if I write hello, this is a super nice text editor. Okay, we have here our super nice text editor, and we're gonna save it as hello world that super awesome super. <laughs> text editor this is our file extension okay <laughs> you can write whatever you like here doesn't matter for now okay and it should be saved let's see let's see, I'm gonna close everything start it all over again let's try to open it here it's our file the file that we created before and yeah we can save it okay let's see that we want to modify something, we delete everything, we do the numbers, it's gonna save it, you can select here, everything works as you intended to, even like the file exists, do you want to overwrite, yes, okay, so yeah, we ended up with a very basic text editor uh, that can open files, you can save them, modify things, you know, that you can even like create your own code here if you want to. Let's see, that's gonna overwrite this code. Let's see, yeah, you see the changes are working here. So you have everything 
uh, you need for that basic purpose. And you only needed a few signals, uh, a few nodes, and then yeah. For the next episodes, we're gonna cover other stuff that are really relevant, but if there's something that you want to see, please remember to leave a comment. And, you know, you can reach me anywhere on Twitter, on Reddit, here on YouTube. And yeah, thank you for watching and until the next one.